Gas prices are still on the rise and could get worse. What could push the cost of fuel even higher? Flying in the lap of luxury, the new first class for your furry friend. You're watching The Rundown. Hello, everyone. I'm Robin Winston. More on those stories coming up in a moment. But first, millions of people have been rushing to finish their tax returns ahead of the April 15th deadline. The IRS says you do have options if you're not able to file or pay on time. You're actually allowed to file for an extension, which would push your deadline to October 15th. If you have filed your taxes but have not received your refund, just head over to the IRS website and use the Where's My Refund tracking tool. There's concern that the tent situation in the Middle East could push gas prices up. Iran is one of the world's largest oil producers, and any attack on its facilities could lead to a big increase in oil on the global market. The price of gas in Southern California has been going up every day for nearly a month now. The average price in L.A. rose another half a cent from Sunday into Monday to 5.40 a gallon. It's the highest in our area. You can also see the average prices on your screen for Orange, Riverside, San Bernardino, and Ventura counties. President Biden has approved California's request for a major disaster declaration to help recovery efforts from a string of storms in February. Nine counties, including L.A. County, will get the federal aid. The money will be used to fix the flood damage and clean up the mudslides and debris flows. In a statement, Governor Newsom thanked the Biden administration for its support. Road crews have been working to clear rocks and debris from Malibu Canyon Road in Malibu following a rock slide early Sunday morning. There's been a, this has been a problem area with a lot of shifting land ever since that big wave of storms rolled through back in February. Our first alert weather team has been warning these slides could continue in the weeks and months following all the rain we've had. The road had to be shut down in both directions from Paihuma Road to Pacific Coast Highway. Dry and warmer conditions are kicking in. Here's meteorologist Belen De Leon. Hi, everyone. Well, we can put away the umbrellas. The weather is going to be dry for the rest of the week, and the sunshine will be returning. Now, the temperatures will get warmer day by day through the middle of the week. And at the coast, watch out for a marine layer developing with areas of low clouds and patchy fog. All in all, the weather is going to be quiet this week, but we do have to watch out for some warming temperatures. We're not used to this kind of warmth just yet at this time of year. The trend in Riverside puts us in 70s on Monday, but look at this huge jump in temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to be warmer by more than 10 degrees. We're looking at 80s. A little dip in temperatures at the end of the week, but still feeling mild. Mid-70s by Friday, then back to the 80s on Sunday. So it's going to feel like summer. Stay hydrated, stay cool, be safe. An attorney who represented O.J. Simpson says he will be cremated and there are no plans to have his brain donated to science. The New York Post reported on request to study Simpson's brain for CTE. It's a degenerative brain disease that's been studied in former football players. CTE is associated with behavioral and cognitive issues related to repeated head injuries. Simpson died from prostate cancer last week at the age of 76. A man is under arrest after deputies say he fired a rifle several times from the rooftop of an apartment complex in Marina Del Rey. They also say he was live streaming the shooting. The gunfire started just after 10 o'clock Saturday night. Deputies closed down nearby streets and told residents to shelter in place. Uh, watching TV, I hear, you know, somebody running in the hallway behind my door and all of a sudden gunshots coming in. That was going on for almost over an hour. The SWAT showed up and knocked my door. They just barged into my apartment and started investigating to see if there's anybody in my apartment or not. Despite all the gunfire, nobody was hurt. We are still making calls to deputies to learn more about the gunman and the charges he faces. An armed robbery in Colton was caught on camera. Check this out. This is video from Into the Retroverse. It's a gaming store. And employees tell us they were playing a game on Saturday when the thief walked in. The employees fought back trying to stop him, but they quit when the man pulled out a gun and threatened him. And get this, he wasn't even trying to steal money. Then he opened and started taking all the Pokemon cards. So I grabbed the camera and pushed him to pin him to stop him from doing anything. After I pinned him, he started, he managed to get his way out and he started taking more where I grabbed the Pokemon cards and rip it out of his hand to stop him. They broke into my store. 
they had my, my, my brother slash my worker and my team of workers on the ground laying face down with their fear, with fear in their eyes because they thought they could have gotten killed. And for what? Pokemon cards? Pokemon product? Piece of cardboard? The store owner says this is the third time in the last seven months that they've been robbed. A pilot and his dog swam to safety after their plane crashed off the coast of Rancho Palos Verdes. For News Stop Four, you can actually see the scene Sunday afternoon. Rescuers tell us the man and his dog swam more than 100 yards to shore with a water temperature of no more than 58 degrees. Generally, that's what we consider a major catastrophic incident or a catastrophic engine failure with the plane. And to land in water this cold and come out unscathed is, is remarkable. Uh, thankfully, they're okay. This is video showing the pilot and his dog back on dry land. As for the plane, investigators say it's underwater, anywhere from 15 to 50 feet below the surface. There are new calls for a crackdown on burglary tourism. Professional thieves are traveling to Southern California to rob upscale homes. NBC's Dana Griffin talked to the Orange County District Attorney about the trend. You know, you kind of feel like it is your sanctuary. On Valentine's Day 2022, Dr. Nancy Silverberg's safe space perched on this hillside in Orange County was targeted by thieves. Climbed up over there and fell through. There was a big hole in the patio cover. Stealing more than $100,000 in jewelry and family heirlooms. You feel violated? Oh, yes. Investigators say she was likely the victim of so-called burglary tourists, gang members in an organized South American crime ring, and it's happening all across the country. Thieves caught on camera breaking into this home in Scottsdale, Arizona, and this pair who hit a home in Miami. Law enforcement officials say thefts like these have been an ongoing problem for the past five years, but there's been a recent uptick. This is organized crime, hands down. And these thieves are not sneaking across the southern border to get in. Instead, they're flying to the U.S., entering legally on tourist visas under a program known as the Electronic System for Travel Authorization, or ESTA. For $21 online, 43 countries participate. You can come here for 90 days at a time. Orange County District Attorney Todd Spitzer says these professional thieves use camouflage while watching your home and may be armed with the latest technology. Wi-Fi jammers. So if you have a Wi-Fi system, then they block that. If the police are being dispatched because there's a silent, silent alarm from the alarm company, they have the ability to block these police transmissions. That's like military level type It's stuff. totally military. And Spitzer says many of the suspects come from just one country. People we've arrested here in Orange County have criminal records coming from the country of Chile. Congresswoman Young Kim says that's because a key part of the agreement is being ignored, allowing these gang members to enter the United States. Under the agreement, Chilean government has to vet every single passenger that gets on the plane, but they're not doing it. Chilean officials say while the total number of cases are relatively small, quote, we recognize the severity of the problem. And Homeland Security says they are working with the Chilean government to detect, deter, and prevent travel to the United States by known criminal actors. Nancy Silverberg has added extra security to her home, and she hopes lawmakers will solve the burglary tourists problem. This seems like such an easy backdoor way that I think could be addressed. Dana Griffin, NBC News. April 15th commemorates the day Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier and made his major league debut. He played for the Dodgers. The team won six pennants during his 10 seasons and won the World Series title back in 1955. And now every year on April 15th, players on every major league baseball team wear his number 42. It's a wrap for week one of the Coachella Music Festival. Thousands of fans got to watch Orange County legend, no doubt, perform many classics like Don't Speak and Just a Girl. The group hasn't performed together in years. They hit the stage with Olivia Rodrigo. Will Smith made a surprise appearance. The rapper actor hit the stage alongside Jay Balvin to perform his hit song, Men in Black, from his 1997 box office blockbuster film. And to add a little flair to the performance, backup dancers dressed as aliens while the two performed. Weekend 2 starts this Friday.
cowboy boots are getting a boost from Beyonce. Sales climbed more than 20% this week after her country album dropped. This is according to consumer behavior firm Circana. And officials with Boot Barn say they've also seen an increase in sales. A third grader in Orange County is learning about publishing her own books. And she even got the attention of the White House. Ariana Tapalia is posing here with her book, The Cat Princess Kingdom Aurora, and she wrote it and published it when she was just seven with some help from her dad. And since then, she's worked to expand her series, including a coloring book. Here's what she told us about why she likes writing. I can create any world I want. I can have fun with my imagination. Ah, so smart and talented. The nine-year-old received this letter from President Biden encouraging her to remain curious, creative, and fearless. Dogs will soon be able to fly first class in a first-of-its-kind service specifically designed for canines. It's called Bark Air. Finally, dogs will fly the way they've always deserved to. First. Oh, wow, this looks so fancy. All furry passengers will have access to pampering, typically reserved for humans in first class. For dogs, that includes calming treats, noise-canceling earmuffs, and calming jackets. Flights begin May 23rd, and right now there are only two routes available, and it'll cost you. The ticket for a dog and their human starts at $6,000. But they deserve it, right? You can always get news and weather updates on the NBCLA app and our website, NBCLA.com. And be sure to tune into Today in LA on NBC4, weekdays, 4 to 7 a.m. I'll be helping you get around with traffic reports throughout the morning. I'll see you next time on The Rundown.